Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your tarot reading for the week beginning on October 9th through the 16th. It's Raina here, your fellow Sagittarian, and I'm going to have fun picking these cards because it's for me too. Now, um, and I used to read for myself and it, it was kind of uh, an interesting thing. They, I read somewhere you're not supposed to read for yourself, but I think it can be a very interesting uh, foray into a, uh, the tarot in general. So try it out if you're interested in learning more about the tarot. Um, I'm using the Pamela Coleman deck this time around. Uh, <laughs> I said the Pamela Coleman deck. She illustrated it, but it's called the Rider Waite deck. It's the, the standard deck by which all decks are compared. And it's really good for beginners um, if, you, if you are interested in getting into the tarot. It's really a great one because it, it goes along with the classic interpretations of the, um, of the different cards. Ooh, that's our card in a way because that's Jupiter. Okay. Okay, and so I'm reading these as pairs, past, <laughs> past, present, future. Okay, and um, for the past position, we have the Wheel of Fortune, a card connected to Jupiter, which is the planet of luck and expansion, so it's no wonder that the Wheel of Fortune is connected to it and the Three of Wands. Another card uh, connected to Fire Energy. I don't know if it's Sag specifically, but a card of expansion. The person is looking out on the horizon, looking beyond their own backyard for, for everything connected to like career and their, their goals, their, their dreams, their, their ideas. And with that, the Wheel of Fortune. So some of us have been having these great ideas that we were just chomping at the bit to kind of carry out. Um, now, some people are really good at, wow, I have this great idea, and then automatically they go and do it. Who would do that? Aries. As one of the fire signs, Aries. Why? Because Aries is a cardinal sign, and cardinal signs love to initiate action. However, an Aries person may peter out very quickly if things do not progress as rapidly as they would like. This is why it's really helpful when you look at the, the astrological chart to see if somebody who's an Aries might have a, a prominent placement in Taurus, for instance, where they have that, that persistence, okay, a fixed sign, persistence. Um, for instance, I have Taurus rising, Sun in, in Sagittarius, so that helps to be more persistent, whereas other people, they give up too quickly if something doesn't you know, manifest. I think all of the fire signs have a tendency to be impatient. So you may be this person who's like, I'm, I just want to move on with my life. I want something new and yet you find that you're not moving, that nothing's happening. And I, I think one of the biggest mistakes that Sagittarians make is flapping their gums, talking about your dreams with other people. And that's because we are mutable signs. So we like to communicate our ideas, but mutability is not necessarily taking action. And you can get into the trap of talking about your ideas with other people and think that that's taking action, and it's not. It's not even, it's just talk, running your mouth, you know? So the other problem with talking about your ideas is that other people may discourage you. Um, 
there's a, a saying, I can't remember what it is, but something like a keeping, keeping your own counsel. Sagittarians are puppy dogs, open books, and that kind of mentality can lead to being too open at times. And sometimes you have to guard your dreams, you know, and like a tender, fragile bud that needs time to grow. <clears throat> so, just saying that. Now, this is the current energy for now, and I, I couldn't resonate with this more. The, the world card and the hermit card. The world card is about endings, and I have felt like this chapter closing on my life. Now, it may not be this week. This may just be a general theme for you at this time. Uh, along with that, the hermit, becoming being more introverted than usual, but also more in reflection mode. And this is wonderful because you may be, you know, right at this time, even though it's not like the month before Sagittarius is, um, you know, this, the, the solar return, it still is before the solar return. So you may be kind of reflecting on the past year. Um, Saturn is ending its run in Sagittarius. So that may be affecting you too. Um, I know it's been on top of my sun sign. And I was like, whoa, what, what is this? And then I said, oh, wow, it's exactly in conjunction with my sun sign. So um, that, that can definitely cause you to really be quite sober. Um, hopefully not depressed or pessimistic, but definitely very serious about things and, and taking life um, very seriously and reflecting. The outcome is the Three of Pentacles. So this is like the womb. The number three is the number of creation. Because you, you, it takes two to produce the third. And this is Pentacles. So this can be a, a card that is very good for anything involving your career pursuits, for instance, again, there's, there's a connection with the number three. And then on top of that, we have the eight of wands. So fast paced events, maybe just coming into play. And you'll have to think on your feet, you'll have to be able to decide what you're going to do, Sagittarius. That's one good thing about being a mutable sign is that we are very flexible and when we have to, we can really make snap decisions. We're not like Librans where we're just like agonizing over decisions, unless you have the moon in Libra, I guess, or Libra rising. But uh, we tend to be much more able to go with the flow and um, to deal with things as they come along. So that could be something very positive, a positive development. With it being a wand, it's a fiery influence, so it can be very exciting, the developments that occur. But it's interesting that we're, we're seeing this ending of a chapter and this kind of internalized energy for, for, for now. But get ready, you know, because you may be having something new come about and, and just happens like that you know so i hope you enjoyed this sagittarius and if you'd like a private reading please click on the link below otherwise have a great week bye